I like that one. A family on a mission to rescue this antique home. It just looks like it needs a family again. Can the house survive a lumbering launch? Uh-oh. We've got everything that we didn't want happening, happening. Ah! Oh, my God. And a rough ride through dark city streets. Holy sh yeah. That's nerve-wracking. Hauling this historic house will be nothing short of one massive move. <laughs> Seattle, Washington, a bustling metropolis on the Pacific coast, teeming with lakes and rivers. High school teacher Anna Marshall is Seattle born and bred but she's never been able to afford her own home here. Property in the Seattle area is really, really expensive. So I don't know if I would have been able to buy a house anytime soon. Hi, Mom and Dad. After years of renting in the city center, Anna's come home to the neighborhood where she grew up to move back in with parents Rich and Myra, who've been through a tough few years. 2010 was not a good year. In January, we found out that my dad had cancer. And then my mom, she hadn't been feeling well for a while and it kind of escalated really quickly. And so she ended up in the hospital. They called it Wigner's granulomatosis vasculitis. I was very close to death. Uh, there was a point when the doctor told me she had a 50% chance of surviving it's so nice to have her here. <laughs> we were scared. <laughs> With both Rich and Myra making good recoveries, Anna wants some space of her own. I had not pictured myself moving back in with my parents. They're actually great roommates, so that's not a problem, but it's, I think, more of a mental block where I'm like, I should be out on my own right now. Back. Yeah. But Rich and Myra have come up with a solution. That's the cedar tree, and that's the one that's over there. They're giving Anna a corner of their garden in which to put her own house. I think my house will probably be about 50 feet from my parents' house. <laughs> I could always plant a whole bunch of trees if they start to bug me. Anna's got the land. Now all she needs is a house. I don't know, what do you think about that one? That one's not my style. Building from scratch would bust Anna's budget. So she's come to this unique yard in Everett which sells secondhand homes to go. Owned by haulage specialists, the Nickel Brothers, they truck houses destined for demolition here for resale at bargain prices. I like that one. Look at the porch. This 1922 Craftsman bungalow, going for just $1, catches Anna's eye. You want to see what it looks like inside? Guys, it's so bright. And tall ceilings. Tall ceilings. I love it. It's everything Anna's dreamed of, despite being a little worse for wear. Is this a closet, Mom? Don't take that first step. It's a big one. It is going to go to the basement. I just like the feel of it, and it's kind of cozy, but it doesn't feel small. Basically, I like everything about it. It's the perfect starter home. But the house is on the wrong side of Seattle. Driving it through downtown isn't an option. But luckily for Anna, the yard isn't far from a river. So the house will embark on a perilous 40-mile sea journey by barge to reach its new home. Shallow rivers and canals, followed by a tight trek through town, will make this move tough. The idea of moving the house is pretty scary. I'm especially worried about its time on the barge. Just don't want it at the bottom of a lake. This house may come cheap, but moving it will set Anna back $68,000. Renovations and building foundations will cost another $70,000, bringing the grand total for this ambitious project to at least $138,000. Let's get going. This job will be no mean feat for the Nickel Brothers crew, who trucked the house here from its original location just a few miles away. Have you done this before? Lots. Okay. Now Supervisor Daryl Johnson must haul the house a whole lot further. We work off the integrity of the building, and there is no integrity in this building. You wouldn't want to have a party on this deck right now. All right, guys, let's do this. 
When the house is loaded, the root will soar 25 feet into the air. Not a problem in the sail yard, but en route, the house must pass under a mile of high voltage trolley bus lines. And at night, hit these and Anna's dream home will be fried. The only way to squeeze the house to its new plot is to carry out some severe surgery and remove the roof, preserving the original features as best they can. It's a huge amount of extra work. And just as the crew starts cutting, <laughs> we're just roofing. Storm clouds roll in. We're in Seattle and it's gonna rain sometimes, so I, we just have to make sure that it's, we keep it dry. We're kind of in a nice little sunny pocket for right now, but it's Washington, it'll close up fast. Get it buttoned up so that the rain doesn't damage the house below. Racing against time. There goes the roof. <laughs> I think it's official. There's no turning back now. In Seattle, Washington. I like that one. High school teacher Anna Marshall has found the perfect starter home but it needs hauling across the city. There goes the roof. <laughs> the crews cut the period house down to size and got it safely buttoned up. Good. We gotta get going, guys. Oh! Okay, guys, coming ahead. Hello, house. Daryl's move crew roll the old house to the riverbank, ready for a perilous voyage by barge. It's not going in right here, is it? This, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'm not really sure how is it going to get from being on the truck to the barge. Hauling the house onto the water will be a titanic task. They can only load on a rising tide, or the heavy barge could ground. Even then, they only have 90 minutes before the tide turns and pulls the barge away. So Daryl's crew must anchor the barge to two trucks and call in an extra tug to hold it stable. Only then can they drive it aboard. If my house were to uh, end up not being on the barge, it now has little flotation devices. And the balloons can kind of give it a little extra lift. We could have ordered a smaller barge. Keep coming. They tie the barge to their trucks. Oh. At the helm of the main tugboat is Captain TJ. He's got 20 years experience navigating these waters, but this voyage will test his mettle. Got enough area to get in there, but it's the current that's going to cause us problems. Ah. Oh, this barge is moving around a little bit more than what I'm comfortable with. Even with backup pilot Maya thrusting against the rising tide, the water is pushing the barge sideways. Oh. Ready? Daryl's team must move fast. Back it up, guys! OK, TJ, you're bringing the house and the barge right here. Oh, my gosh. Well, the ramps looked really wide before the house was heading toward it, and now the ramp does not look very wide at all. Whoa! Oh Uh-oh. <laughs> Ah! I don't want to see that dolly get any further that way. The crew are now in a race against the tide. Yeah, it's rising fast. Oh, my God. Well, the tide's coming in, and it's pushing against the far side of the barge, so it's pushing the barge towards me. We've got everything that we didn't want happening, happening. Oh! The ramps supporting the truck become unstable as the tide pushes the barge upwards. They're working pretty fast. Just gotta hurry. Back it up! Keep coming, keep coming! You're on the blocks, you're on the blocks. Yay! Perfect. They make it in the nick of time, but a perfect storm is brewing. We want to uh, chuck these tires pretty good. Apparently the weather's uh, kicked up out there. 
The only way to reach the other side of Seattle is by sailing along the Snohomish River, a dangerously narrow and shallow stretch of water. Take the wrong path, and the barge could ground. So Captain TJ must pick his route with great care, sending Maya's pilot boat ahead to check the water's depth and keep a constant lookout for hidden obstacles. So what do we have for depth now, Maya? 15 foot. We just lost six feet of water over here. So if we came over here with that barge, we'd run aground. 20 plus feet of water going through the break here. I'll keep an eye on him. Despite the deadly shallows, Captain TJ can't afford to let up the pace. There's 30 miles to go. Good luck, house. And the weather's closing in. It's looking pretty nasty out there. We've got some dark clouds. Well, hopefully it doesn't get any windier. If the barge starts rocking from side to side, it will put stress on a house and almost like an earthquake. That we don't oh, want a bumpy ride through the house. Definitely. I don't want broken anything. Well, we got a little race against time here. We got to get to the locks, get where it's going to be safe. With his pedal to the metal, TJ races ahead of the storm, sailing the house into Seattle's sheltered ship canal. That's the locks right there. Do you like my house? It needs a roof. It's a quick elevator ride <laughs> up into the city's lakes. Only time my house will have a view of the Space Needle. It would look pretty nice parked right about here. I think so. <laughs> but there's no time to admire the view. There's still five more miles to go before Anna's house reaches dry land in Seattle. Good luck, house. Anna's antique home has made it through choppy seas to reach the dock on the southern side of the city. Eleven p.m. Swing it! Daryl's crew now faces their biggest challenge. I don't want to jinx it, but uh, cross your fingers here. The house is just a few meters from dry land, but they're not home and dry yet. The barge isn't level with the docks, and there's no high tide to help. Truck driver Dusty must inch the house down the steep ramp whilst making a sharp turn to avoid trees. If he loses control, there will be an almighty mess. To round the corner, the crew must raise one side of the house using hydraulics in the wheels, tilting it into the turn and around the trees. A tricky maneuver. Team ready? Yeah. <laughs> OK, guys, let's go than I'd like it to be right now. We're going to run right off of them. Yes, ah! The block slipping up when they're getting ready to drive on them. That's nerve wracking. we got to watch those blocks underneath there, eh? When they start yelling, I start worrying. That's good. You're on. You're down, you're down, you're on the ground. The truck hits the tarmac. Whoa, 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 whoa. But Dusty's run out of room. Hey, we're into this bush over on this side pretty good. I just don't know how they're going to make the corner down there. OK, going up. They must now tip and jackknife the house as it hangs over the water. It's very scary when they tilt it. Uh, right now is uh, the point of uh, no return, as they say. Start steering. Keep coming, keep coming. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Nicely done. Yeah. Now they just have to get it to the property. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> <laughs> Daryl's team may be on dry land, but they have five miles of narrow streets ahead of them, and their road permit runs out in less than four hours. I was hoping to be on the road uh, an hour ago. We got to get going, guys. Another tight turn. Alex! Away from the house, away from the truck. 
and a mile of high voltage trolley bus lines slow them down. Holy Dolly just broke. Uh, Dusty, before we move another inch here, I need you coming back here real quick. One of the hydraulic dolly wheels under the rear of the house suddenly busts loose on them. Let's get blocked in here. Leaving Anna's home, blocking the street. Watch yourself right here. I can't go further. We're going to be parking this back in here. I guess I was expecting things to go a little bit more smoothly at this point. Well, with this sitting down in here, LA's we can get going. Let's do this. Daryl hatches a rescue plan. He uses a jack to lift the weight of the house off the broken wheel ah! and hammers it back into place. There. Perfect. Coming down. A crude fix, but if they're lucky, it'll get them down the road. We're good. Get back on the truck. I'm, uh, I'm breathing easy now. There's now only three hours left before they have to clear off the highway. Yee-haw! So the house left around noon and it's 3 a.m. and we're not there yet. After 19 hours on the move, the end is finally in sight. But up ahead, a steep gravel track leading to the new foundations will test driver Dusty's clutch control. Steer the house up forwards, and there won't be enough room at the top to turn it around, leaving Anna's beloved home in a dangerous situation. So Dusty must reverse the heavy load up the hill, using all the engine power he can muster. A dangerous drive in the dark. a little nervous. I thought it was going to be all right from now on, but who knows. In Seattle, after a bumpy start, oh, holy yeah. Anna Marshall's home has made a midnight dash. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch. Before the house is safely home, Back up. Copy that. the crew must reverse it up a steep slope. Whoa, 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 whoa. But the 45-ton load is slipping into the soft ground. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, hold it there. Hold it there. We're going to need a pull. Daryl needs extra pulling power and fast. OK, backing up, backing up. Yeah, keep going. Go, go, go. Watch that chain, guys. Oh, my gosh. It takes all the machines they've got to heave the house up the hill. You're just coming into the hole. Come on, baby. There you go. Hold it there. Anna, it's arrived. All right. More than 20 hours after the move began, Anna's house finally reaches the summit. Before the day is done, the crew jack it 12 feet into the air to make enough space to build foundations and a new basement underneath. Way to go, so, guys. You guys do that, man. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, oh, we kept you on your toes. <laughs> I am very proud of my team. Uh, they're tired. Boy, with everything, uh, they kept on trucking right beside me. Yeah, well. Hello, house. I actually can't really believe that the house is actually finally here. The 90-year-old house has stood up well to its rough ride. I love my porch. But there's a bit of work to do before Anna can move in. Um, yeah. <laughs> so why is it that it's, um... There's no support in the middle. My house is shaking. I don't feel it. Stop it. it. Don't felt that bounce. One. I felt that one. It takes 14 weeks of rainy days and sleepless nights to get Anna's house high and dry. It's been such a long wait for Anna, but when the roof got on, that was it. That was like, ta-da! 
The plan is for this to be my bedroom, but it turns out that it's much bigger than I was expecting. And I've lived in apartments that are smaller than this attic. The wall color I haven't officially decided on yet, but the green I have right now is not very popular with the people who see it. With a few more months of work ahead before Anna can move in, it's all hands on deck. We have been putting the house together, together. So it's been a real family effort all the way through. It's been a lot of work and it's been a lot of time and a lot of money, but it, it's not just a, you know, some dream that's there, it's actually a reality now. Here's so to my new house. house. Yeah. Oh, all right.